In this session, let us understand how to pass entries in the books of consignee for the consignment transaction. We know consignee is basically an agent. Let's go one by one. Number one, when goods are received on consignment. When consignee receives the goods which are sent by consignor, whether he will pass any entry? Answer is no. There will not be any entry in the books of consignee when goods are received. Now, the consignee can be classified on the basis of uh, nature of commission. The commission can be divided into two. Okay, The commission that is payable to consignee can be divided into two. One is Del Credar Commission and the other one is normal commission. What is the difference between Del Credar Commission and normal commission? Del Credar Commission is a commission where it will be relatively high but what is the incentive or why a consignor should pay high commission to the consignee in the name of Del Credar Commission? In these cases, that is whenever the consignee is entitled to Del Credar Commission, he will bear the risk of or say, not the risk of, uh, let me rewrite, he will bear the loss on bad debts. So if there are any bad debts on credit sale, that loss will be borne by whom? It will be borne by consignee. So, if a consignee is paid Del Credar Commission, he will bear the loss. But if a consignee is paid only normal commission, then it is consignor who will bear the loss. Okay. So, according to the nature of commission, we can classify the consignees into two and accordingly there will be some differences in entries also. Okay. First, let us understand this category that is normal consignee that is normal commission is only paid no del credar commission okay so let us focus on that when no del credar commission is allowed what are the entries we'll go one by one when goods are sold on credit here the goods are sold by consignee on behalf of consignor that's all so it is a sale transaction as far as consignor is concerned and consignee do not take up any responsibility here. Okay, Only in Del Credar cases consignee will take up the responsibility. So when goods are sold on credit, there will not be any entry in the books of consignee. Only the memorandum entries will be maintained basically to keep track of customer who had taken on credit, who have purchased goods on credit. So there will not be any entry in the books of consignee only memorandum entries will be made but what will be the accounting effect when cash is collected or cash sales is done so when cash is collected cash is coming in in the hands of consignee but who is the owner for that cash the owner is consignor okay so when cash comes in it should be debited and it is payable to whom? It is payable to consignor. So, consignor account should be credited. So, that will be the entry when the cash sales is made or cash is collected. What will be the entry when there are bad debts? We understand that uh, here consignee is normal consignee. That is no Del Credar commission is allowed. So, when there is bad debts, it is not at all going to affect the consignee. So, there will not be any entry in the books of consignee. Who will bear the bad debts? It is only the consignor. So bad debts entry will be recorded by the consignor because consignee is not entitled to Del Credar Commission. So this is the scenario where no Del Credar Commission is allowed. Now let us focus on scenario 2 where Del Credar Commission is allowed. When Del Credar Commission is allowed and when goods are sold on credit who takes the responsibility? It is consignee because he is entitled to additional commission. So he will pass an entry. Credit sale is made to a customer so that customer debtor account will be debited. 
but when that money comes in it is payable to whom it is payable to consignor so understand when credit sales are made consignee will not pass an entry like this this is not the entry what is the normal entry when credit sale is made it will be debtor account debit to sales account here consignee will not credit sales account rather consignee will credit consignor account because when the money comes from debtor it is payable to consignor because he is the owner of the goods and consignee is only an agent then why he is debiting debtor because money is receivable from debtor and if that money does not comes okay then consignee should bear the loss for that we need an account right that is at the time will be crediting debtor that is when debtor is not going to pay we have to cancel that is will will credit debtor and we have to debit bad debts okay and where the bad debts will be adjusted bad debts will be adjusted against the commission income payable to consignee let's understand let's take when cash is collected when cash is collected cash is coming in and it is payable to consignor so cash account debit to consignor account but let's say here the cash is collected from credit sales okay cash is collected from credit sales so when cash is collected from credit sales it will be cash account debit to debtor's account because we have to close the debtor account so earlier i said when cash is collected on the assumption it is a cash sales if it is a cash sales entry will be cash account debit to consignor account if it is cash collection on credit sales so that's why i have written in brackets so in that case you have to close the debtor account so you have to credit debtor account and cash is coming in so debit what comes in so cash account is debited fine let's say some of the customer have not paid it means there is a bad debts so this bad debts will reduce the debtors so debtor should be credited and the loss have to be booked by debiting bad debts so entry will be bad debts account debit to debtors account next who will bear this loss consignor or consignee here del credor commission is allowed so it is consignee who should bear the loss now this loss will be adjusted against commission income payable to consignee so we'll write when bad debts is adjusted against commission income commission income for consignee is basically a credit item but now that is going to come down because of bad debts so when commission income comes down to the extent of bad debts to the extent of bad debts commission income account should be debited and bad debts is transfer to commission income now so bad debts account will be closed by credit so here we write commission income net of bad debts will be transferred to pnl account of consignee now let me give you a small numbers to understand this let's say the credit sale made is 10000 okay so customer account is debited for 10000 consignor account is created for 10000 and uh, eventually cash is collected from this credit sale so how much is realized is 9500 so cash had come in okay and debtor account is now closed but only to the extent of 9500 is still pending so that is a loss it is recognized as bad debts bad debts is debited by 500 and debtors is created by 500 so now if you notice debtor account is closed and cash had come in only to the extent of 9500 and this 500 is loss let's say this consignee is entitled to a commission of say something like 10 percentage okay this consignee is entitled to a commission of 10 percentage on gross sales so if i calculate commission it will be 10000 into 10 percentage and it works out to 1000 but he is getting del credor commission it means he should 
bear the loss of bad debts. So what is bad debts here? Bad debts is 500. So what is the commission that can be paid to him? It is only 500. So what is happening? This is the commission account which will have credit balance okay and this should come down because of bad debts okay. So what we should do this commission account which had a credit balance of 1000 should be debited by 500. So the net position will be credit of only 500 that's why here I am going to debit the commission account by 500 and I am crediting bad debts account by 500 so this bad debts account is closed and commission that is now payable is only 500 and what will be the entry for the commission see this commission is basically income for the consignee so he will recognize commission income net of bad debts okay and that will be transferred to his PNL that is it will be taken to the credit of PNL so he'll say commission income account debit okay it will be commission income account debit to PNL account the final amount of 500 this 500 will be transferred okay we'll take a problem in the next session so we'll understand it more clearly